So the cool thing about polymer photoreforming is it actually is addressing two big global issues. So the first one is plastic waste. Most of us have probably heard um, that plastic waste is a big issue. We produce tons of it. It's ending up in our environment. And right now it's not really clear how exactly we can tackle this problem. And the second issue is renewable energy generation. So I'm working on producing hydrogen. Uh, the good thing about hydrogen is you can use it as a renewable fuel because when you react it with oxygen, it releases energy and just releases water as well. So it's not like fossil fuels where when you burn it, you're also releasing greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide. So the great thing about this project is you're literally breaking down the plastic waste using the energy in sunlight. And when you do that, you release your hydrogen. So you're simultaneously breaking down plastic waste, so reducing the plastic pollution we already have, and you're helping produce uh, renewable fuels. So this is still a very new technology, um, but in the future we're hoping that you could use hydrogen fuels um, to power all sorts of different things. So maybe trains, maybe cars, maybe even planes. So right now, Germany has actually, actually released the very first hydrogen powered train. And maybe in the future, we could use plastic to produce that hydrogen and make our public transport greener. What I really like about science is it not only lets you figure out how exactly the world works, it also lets you figure out how you could maybe change the world, make it work in a better way. My mom homeschooled me and she was great in that she made me do a lot of different experiments. I might have to try different ways of making chocolate, see what the consistency ends up like and make hypotheses about um, the end results. And so I learned really young kind of the scientific process, um, also learning to analyze data, which was very important. It still is important today. I have huge spreadsheets of work. Um, but the one thing I really didn't have coming into my PhD was a lot of chemistry knowledge. So I'm here in the Department of Chemistry doing my PhD, but my undergraduate degree was actually in nanoengineering. And so I really had to catch up on a lot of that fundamental chemistry knowledge that um, all of my colleagues already knew. So for me, I think it's, it's really showcased how important it is to learn these fundamental skills, to learn how to work in a lab, how to design experiments, um, and how to just use, feel comfortable using the equipment around you.